Hello everyone, it's Jackie with no voice back for another GameStop video and it's been a while I'm sure that you've missed my face and listen we just didn't put out any videos because we didn't need any panic we didn't want people panicking and I know that y'all motherfuckers panic like a bunch of crazy motherfuckers so we just couldn't have that all right starting off the video strong with two f-bombs no problem right so listen we talked about this for a very long time. We set up this trade for a really long time. If you're a part of the tits gang, we talked about this red trend line. We had this drawn down here at this lowest one, but whatever, we can put it up here now. We talked about this zone, this under $10 zone, the $9.99, $9.60, whatever the fuck, right? We waited for this zone. And we finally got there. And when we finally got there, not only that, but we had completed this harmonic structure. And we completed this harmonic structure by three pennies. And then you got the reactive candle that you wanted to see, and then it rounded over. Guys, what's like one of the best reversal patterns in the entire stock market? You're fucking looking at it right here. I apologize for all the F-bombs. I'm just jacked up, man. Because this is insane. Like, we've done it. Right, you had... The harmonic structure with one of the best reversal patterns in the market. Okay, cool. No problem, right? Technical analysis doesn't work on manipulated stocks. And then, right, we got the huge reaction that we wanted to see. And what was beautiful about that is it actually put in a wonderful candlestick formation. This candlestick formation being called a three white soldiers. This is a fantastic reversal formation. And then, right, during this run... We saw some of the most insane options flow that we had seen on GameStop in a very long time. People were buying the 10, the 11, the 11 and a half, the 12, the 13, and the 15. And they were buying them with like a month to go. And then we saw an inside candle followed by two dojis. And we didn't make any videos because everybody would have panicked. Because all of the technical analysis suggests that we should push up with back-to-back -back dojis, basically two indecisive candles. The market being indecisive. It doesn't know what it wants to do. Followed by an inside day, another signal of the market not knowing what it wants to do. Right? And rather than have people panic, we just stick to the thesis. The three white soldiers with the harmonic completion, right? It all suggested that we should make a larger move to the upside. And then we've made a higher low now, and boom, you got a banging candle, an absolute banger of a candle. And this candle, the significance of this candle cannot be understated. It can't. When you take a trend line and you draw it from the low of the candle to the high, okay, and we take this, look at how many candles this one trumps. It trumps this entire nine-week range that we were in. I mean, that's insane. It's almost as large as the gap down earnings one that we made. And it's larger than any of the other candles that we made in the prior run, including this one. It is one of the most insane candles that you have seen on GameStop. And I'm not exaggerating when I say this. In years. It has been years since you have seen this kind of candle out of GameStop. It is unbelievable. This is very significant, you guys. Right? And you know what propelled this? It wasn't holding the stock. It was options. Right? Imagine that. At 11.15 my time, look at what came in. Look at how much. Look at how much money was spent on 16, 17, and 18 strike calls. I said this one. That's wrong. It's this one. Look at how much money was spent. An absurd amount of money. At least half a million dollars. Boom. Just at once. And then look at what continued to happen the whole day. Nothing but slamming these calls. And they're not just any type of calls. Right, these are short dated calls. 14 days to expire, 21 to expire, 7 to expire. 
Look at all of these calls that just roll in with almost no time. And that initial order, look at the time. 50 days to expire. All short-dated contracts. Non-stop. Just slamming the fucking bid all day. And then one of the most interesting things that I have ever seen on GameStop's options flow happened. An order was placed from the floor selling $12 calls and buying $12 puts for the June monthly expiration to the tune of $1.5 million. And that order got canceled. And you want to know why? Because they fucked up. There's a chance that we caught them nakedly short selling GameStop. Live on the tape, there's a chance that we caught that. And that same order for one and a half million dollars was then replaced right here, three minutes later, hidden with no side of the trade taken, a neutral trade, even though the one literally just before that was showing us. It was praised from the floor with a bearish side because it was taken at the bid for the call and at the ask for the put, suggesting a bought put and a sold call. And look at the size of the orders. I'm filtered by 100K premium. And almost every order that you guys see on here is bearish. And we exploded. You want to know why? Because there is a guy that is sitting on GameStop right now in my estimation, he is roughly holding somewhere between 15 to $20 million in short-dated GameStop calls. This is insane, what you guys are seeing. This is not normal. This is one of the most exciting things that I have ever seen in the last three years of trading GameStop. This is one of the single most exciting things I've seen. And it's not just this. It's what these strikes are. On the flow alert side, I want to share something with you guys. Filter once again by 100k premiums. What the fuck is going on, dude? We're loading $55 calls now with hundreds of thousands of dollars. And look at all the short dated calls. Look at it all. It, this is insane. This is actually insane. Look at 30 calls, 20 calls, all just being loaded to the tits. 14 days to expire. Dude, somebody might be trying to gamma squeeze GameStop. This is not a fucking joke. Somebody might be trying to gamma squeeze GameStop. I don't know who, I don't know what, I don't know when, I don't know whatever. Somebody might be trying to gamma squeeze GameStop. And it aligns with a lot of the technical analysis we have. So let's put a couple of things on the chart. First, profit targets off of our harmonic. Right? We've already achieved profit target one. And now we need, or I, I shouldn't say need. I would like to see us hold, right, 1263. I would love to see us hold 1263. If we held that, I would think that there is a reasonably high probability that you get up to profit target two, which is also a gap fill from the earnings, which comes in at the daily 200 period moving average. And then we turn on our pitchfork, and it also just so happens to coincide with the center line of our pitchfork. There's like a gazillion things that all line up in the same area. You guys know what that's called? It's called confluence, a confluence of technical artifacts all found in the same area. Very, 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 very important. A gap fill with a daily 200 with the center of the pitchfork, which has been resistance multiple times. That, my friends, is important. And let me, let me, let me get you guys just maybe a little too jacked to the tits than you should be. But let me make this clear. If you break this, we are going to go to Pluto possibly beyond and Pluto's a long fucking ways away and I'm trying to remain calm but here's the deal right you draw a trend line 
Right now, all my drawings mysteriously got erased from my GameStop chart, oddly enough. So, make of that what you will. Grab your fucking tinfoil hats. So, draw whatever fucking shitty trend line that you want to draw. Right? Mine's going to be drawn probably right there, I guess. Ish. Okay, good enough. All right, cool. We, You get it. Right? We get it. You, you guys get it. Right? You guys... It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to make it perfect anyways, though, because I'm fucking weird OCD, I guess. So we'll put that there, right? Listen, here's the deal. This is what's got me excited. This channel that we have been in now, right, since the sneeze events, again, draw this line however you choose to, I don't care. This channel, this wedge, this thing that we have been in for three years would be tested. If we came up to my circled zone, it would be tested, right? And if you break out of that, that's something that we will have not done a single time since this whole thing started. This could be the bottom of GameStop before we go to the moon. And... I don't say it to try and get you guys overly jacked, maybe, I guess, but there's a world in which the gamma squeeze leads to the macro breakout of GameStop's chart. And if this guy really is trying to gamma squeeze GameStop, I mean, <laughs> think about the implications. How many people trade GameStop? How many people remember GameStop? Right? How many people think still... Man, Moaz, Moaz, right? It's still a thing. And how many people are going to jump on the train if they see this motherfucker soaring to the moon? Oh, my sweet Jesus, you guys. This is like the most exciting time that I can remember for the last three years on GameStop. This is like, this is the holy grail. The options chain is loaded. The price hit a low. We're breaking macro resistance. Like, we're fucking in it now. And it's, it's yes, it is very exciting. We scoot to the 30 minute. I was talking about this live on stream. This is also a three white soldiers candlestick formation on the 30 minute now. Signaling another reversal on a smaller time frame. Signaling we go higher. Like, this is exciting. Look at our bounce now off of the monthly 200 period moving average. Look at that shit. That's sexy as fuck. And, and then the biggest piece of the puzzle, right, is ultimately the pitchfork and the fib time zones. Right? These are the most important things, in my opinion. For two reasons. One, we think we know where we are. But you've got the rounding formation, the rounding formation, the rounding formation. Why? Purple, center, gold, boom. Purple, center, gold, boom. Purple, center, gold, boom. That's what I think would happen. And we've been tracking this for a very long time. But here's where things start to get a little bit fucked up. You've got the Fibonacci time zone from all the way back at the sneeze. All the way from back at the sneeze, you have a Fibonacci time zone. From the sneeze low to the sneeze high, you have a Fib time zone that we're about to run into next week. Not just that Fib time zone. You have a trend-based Fib time zone, a golden pocket. At the exact same, dude, it's like those airplane guys that are like holding the thing. They're like, yeah, yeah, come this way, come this way. We're like those guys right now. We're like, we're telling price to go to triple digits. Like that's us right now. Whatever, whatever's going to happen here and after this, shit's going to go crazy. And maybe, just maybe, we finally say, Fuck your little pattern. 
Fuck your little algorithm. Fuck Ken Griffin. Right? And we just fucking break this bitch and we just... No. That's not even high enough. Still not high enough. There, now we're talking. That sounds right. What is that? Yeah, fuck yeah, that sounds pretty good. All right, Ken, you got to cough up, uh, what is that? 2.703162 million. That's what the arrow says. That's what you got to cough up for me. I don't know, that's what the arrow says. I just draw shit on charts, that's all I know, but I just, you know... 2.7, that's where the arrow stops. So that's where I just chose. It's not a price target. It's just, that's what I chose. But maybe, just maybe, this can be the fucking end of this bullshit. And we can finally begin to take this goddamn company back from the little fucking shit weasels that keep fucking shorting it into fucking Earth's core. Because we're all fucking tired of it. And maybe somebody else is too. And maybe that's what we're seeing reflected on the tape. But man, if you aren't excited about GameStop at this stage, and the fact that we loaded the fuck out of the bottom when perhaps some macro event could take place that makes us quite literally fucking rich overnight. Dog. This is... It's time to be excited. Like, this is it. This is this is three plus years of hard work. A culmination of being beaten the fuck down. They tortured us, cheated us, lied to us, stole from us. Guess what, motherfuckers? Our turn! And it starts now.